So I'm out in my garage and I wanted to give you a sneak peek of what's going to be coming. Let me see if I can flip the camera around. I don't know how to do that. So I went to one of my favorite stores in Carrollton. She's going out of business, unfortunately. The name of her store is Classy Cricket and she had the most beautiful greenery. Can you see this magnolia? So all she had in her store was full of the spring stuff. So I picked up some different things. I think I'm gonna make an arrangement with this crab apple and the yellow in my dining room. And I may go back and get another yellow stem and another crab apple just to make it fuller. And then I got some lamb's ear. Isn't that beautiful? And in my kitchen table, I think I'm gonna be doing the lamb's ear and the pink. So I'll let you know what I decide, but I thought you'd like to have a sneak peek. So for my tablescape in my kitchen, I decided to go with, I kept the same place settings that I had before, except I did change out the plates. I had gotten a set of four cute little bunny rabbit plates at TJ Maxx last year that I just love. It has two different patterns. It has the little sitting bunny, and then it has the little bunny laying down. So I just put those on top of the Buffalo Check napkins that are on a white plate with the grapevine wreath and greenery, the green plate, and then the metal charger that I got at Hobby Lobby. I originally had this um, arrangement in this metal bin, but from the pictures, if you'll notice on the pictures, it looks airy through the middle, and I didn't like the way that looked. And I remembered that uh, years ago, when I had gotten this plate set at Target, that I got the matching picture, and I thought that picture would just be perfect for this um, arrangement. So I just popped the arrangement over, sorry, I got a stick hanging out, I gotta fix. Uh, I had popped this arrangement in here. I did have to trim off the bottom of the stems because the neck was more narrow than the other um, base. So they, I had to trim off the ends to make it fit into this picture. But I'm much happier. I think it has a better balance to it than it did in the other one. So that is my tablescape for my kitchen. So I'm not changing much of my dining room. I'm just going to add some plates and pull the candles off the table and add the arrangement. So I went back to the store and got another sprig of crab apple and another sprig of the woody plant too. And it definitely helped. For my dining room tablescape, I kept it simple as well. I used a runner that was my husband's grandmother's table runner, a wooden bunny I already had, a nest that was not being used that was found out in the garage. I added to the arrangement as you can see. The tray I got this year at Kirkland's and I have loved this tray. The little melon, I don't know how to say it, the little plastic plates or melanomy, I'm not sure how to say it, plates I got from Dollar General, $2 a piece. I got these this year at Dollar General. And so it's just pretty simple with the uh, gold charger. I spray painted this blue color, a white plate from the dollar store, uh, napkins that I got from my mother-in-law, inherited those, and um, the plastic plates from Dollar General. With a wooden bunny that I already had, a tray that I already had, a metal pitcher that I already had. So this tablescape didn't cost very much at all. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and share it with a friend. I hope you got some good ideas. Happy spring!